Welcome to Christian Warrior Training. In this episode, we're going to talk about the five best handguns for 2023 for church security people. How did we come up with these guns? Well, we looked at what people are bringing to the range. We looked at our own personal experience working with these guns. In fact, I own all five of these handguns. I actually own a lot of handguns, but I do own all five of these, and they are tremendous. When we pick a good gun for church security, we pick it because it's a great combat handgun, and it's not about competition. It's not about a good range gun. This is a gun that is going to perform in combat, meaning an active shooter comes to your church, and are you going to be able to take them on with what you got? All right, so if you look at our last video, we did the five worst handguns that we've seen come up to the range for church security qualifications. In this one, it's the five best that we see. Now, if you love Jesus and you love guns, you're in the right place. Go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment. The algorithm loves it. That way, more it lets the algorithm know more people should see our content. All right, let's get into it. Number one, the Glock 45. Now, I own a Glock 19X, which is actually the Glock 45. It's the same thing, essentially. Okay, But I love this gun. It's great. It's got the best of both worlds, a, a Glock 19 length slide with a Glock 17 grip. I score 100% every time I shoot, and it's very minimalist as far as the parts inside. So it's got that hybrid design, but also it's got some great features. This one does not have it, but the actual Glock 45 has that uh, flared magwell, uh, which makes it nice for faster reloads. It's versatile. It gives you the cross between having a full-size combat handgun and something that can still be concealed. It is tried and tested. Inherits Glock's reputation for reliability and endurance, and it makes it a solid choice for church security work. Also, you've got a lot of customization options for this gun, which make it really nice. So concealability, Glock's reputation, for putting out a great combat handgun. You can't go wrong with the Glock 45. It actually is chambered in nine millimeter. Don't, don't let me even get into start talking about their numbering system. It, it, it makes sense if you're a Glock fan. But the Glock 45 actually is nine millimeter, which you will see there are no 45s that are gonna be mentioned. Sorry, boomers. You, you baby boomers are so demanding. Uh, the Glock nine millimeter using a modern round is superb but I'm looking forward to the comments where somebody brings up 40 cal and what a great round it is. Go ahead, I can't wait to see it. 10 millimeter, good option. We'll talk about that too, but let's move on. Glock 45 is a great choice, but this next one, a lot of people don't have the money to actually go out and buy that solid Glock, SIG, something that you know has a great reputation. And so I'm throwing a gun into the mix that is very affordable. Coming in at number four, Palmetto State Armory Dagger. Now, I own a dagger. This is mine right here. I got to tell you, I love this gun. Uh, it is, if you take it apart, this is actually a Glock 19 with a Smith & Wesson m &P trigger. That's At least that's how it feels to me. I bought this gun because it cost me exactly $299. And with that, I got eight magazines. Eight magazines for $299. And it, it is a Glock. So Glock parts will fit this. When you look inside, again, it is a Glock. It is very affordable. If you want a brand new gun, but you can't, you, your budget is only like, let's say $300, you can buy one of these for $250. $250 when it goes on sale. It is compatible with Glock parts. So if you all of a sudden find yourself with some money, then you can go ahead and spend a little bit of cash and put it into your gun. It is reliable. We've gone through some torture tests with this gun before, and we had beat the crap out of it. And it did just about as good as a Glock did. Ergonomic design is it feels much like a Glock for me. It's got good ergos. It's got a nice serrated uh, slide so you can grab onto it. Uh, it is totally customizable. I could put a red dot on this. Uh, it is really good gun for a really cheap price and it's going to hold up. So if you, this is the thing I run into with a lot of my friends. They will say, well, I want to go cheap. Well, they have the money, they just don't want to spend it. Look, man, this your life depends on this, so you have the money, spend it. But truly, there are people out there that don't have the money. And if that is you, the Palmetto State Armory Dagger is going to be a great choice for you. It's a solid gun. And I can't believe I'm giving props to Palmetto State Armory, but man, they've come around. 
They've done a great job with turning their reputation around. They are still screwing some things up on some other guns. Their quality control isn't that great. So if you end up buying a dagger, do me a favor, go through it with a fine tooth comb, shoot it a lot, and then just make sure there's no problems with it, and then you'll be good to go. It is perfect for those on a tight budget. All right. I have always made fun of all you 1911 guys. The 1900s called and said they want their gun back. But in comes a 2011. A 2011 is much different than a 1911. And I'm throwing one of these into the mix because it is an awesome gun. And if you're a 1911 fan, up your game, get a 2011, and then you'll really like this gun. So coming in at number three, the Staccato C2. This I'm still waiting for my Staccato to come in. If you're with Staccato out of Texas, do me a favor. Can you ship me my gun, please? I would appreciate it. Uh, their performance is awesome awesome with this gun. It has exceptional shooting performance with reduced recoil and fast follow-up shots. I have never shot so fast as I do with a Staccato C2. The predecessor to them, STI, just quality guns. Uh, it is a really good gun. The build quality is very high grade. They have attention to detail. Everything is fitted. They do have good longevity and reliability. There is a YouTuber, and I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was, did a very good stress test on this gun, and it, like a 2,000 round stress test, and it did great. It's got precision engineering. The capa magazine capacity and its size is perfect. You're, it's Instead of a 1911 being a 45, this 2011 is a nine millimeter. You're gonna have 16 rounds in that mag. It is perfect. And it is the most comfortable gun around. I will do a review when I get my C2 in. I'm gonna do a review for you guys. It is pricey. Now it's for all you money bags out there, for the guys like, I wanna save money, but they actually, turns out they're a multimillionaire. That's how you became a multimillionaire because you don't waste your money. Spend the money on a Staccato C2. It is a great choice. And for all you 1911 fanboys, come into the modern era, ditch that 1911, get your 2011, and it'll make you happy. Now this gun is gonna take a little bit more training because you gotta deal with the safety and a couple other issues with it. Uh, this is not a gun you're just going to pick up and start carrying. If you haven't had uh, regular range time and regular training, it might be a little bit, it's not going to be as intuitive as a Glock. So that's why it's coming in at number three and not number one, because it does take a lot of training to get used to that. Now, who would have thought a Staccato on the same list is a PSA or Palmetto State Armory? I never would have thought I'd see it, but there you go. All right, the next one. For all you people that think I hate SIG, I don't. I love SIG. They just screwed up with the 320. I want to love the 320, but that's why it's on It's on our worst gun list for a reason. But SIG did hit it out of the park with number two. And number two is the SIG 365 Macro. I love this gun. It is hitting above its weight. It has an awesome 17 round magazine in this tiny, skinny, little gun. I love this gun, but there's one thing I really hate about it, and it's got this very aggressive stippling on its grip. And if you're not wearing a t-shirt, if you're wearing this under your t-shirt, it's gonna rub against your skin, and it's gonna start rubbing your skin raw. Now, you can go back and see the video I did with one of the guys on my church security team that's in a wheelchair, and he talked about some of the issues that he has being bound in a wheelchair where the gun will rub into his skin. He doesn't realize it because he can't feel it, and it'll cause sores. This would cause that problem. But what I like about this 365 is compact size with a 17 round magazine, 17 rounds. That is phenomenal in this little tiny package. It's about the size of a Glock 43X. It's got advanced features like this one I bought as is. It's got nights, it came with night sights and it came with a very nice uh, red dot sight. I started shooting this right out of the box with no issues whatsoever. I do wish that on the trigger, the trigger is just like the 320 trigger and that there's no, uh, there's no safety on the trigger. And so something could catch that and cause a negligent discharge, which bothers me a little bit. I wish that they would change that, but I gotta tell you, this is a nice feeling gun. It feels great. The trigger on that is very crisp, which old SIGs always had a problem with the trigger, but they really fixed this. It's got some modularity that you can uh, work with too, but overall, it's a good gun. I like it. So what's my number one gun? All right, number one gun, 
I picked because anyone can pick it up. Number one is a fairly reasonable price. Number two, anybody can pick it up and it's very intuitive. If you don't have a ton of training, you can start shooting it out of the box and work it like a champ. My number one pick for church security for 2023 the Glock 19. You knew the Glock 19 would show up. This is my everyday carry. This is my church gun. This is the one I carry at church. I love this gun. It is reliable. It has been proven. It's been in a ton, not this particular one, but Glock 19 in general has been in a ton of gunfights and it has exceptional reliability. It's been torture tested. When we looked at Glocks, uh, we put tens of thousands of rounds through our Glocks and they did phenomenal. Glock 19, I have friends that put 30, 40,000 rounds through it, no problem. This one, um, I've put, I'm, I'm probably at like 2,000 rounds right now without cleaning it. Uh, I'm probably going to clean it pretty soon because it's bothering me, but I, I don't need to. It is very easy to use. There's no safeties. You have the safety on the trigger, which is my biggest complaint. See, and this is what I'm talking about. If I just try to pull that trigger here, it's not going to go off because this little dent right here, this little safety right here, it's only going to go off. If I pull that or actually engage that safety. So I, I like that in case you trip something up in the holster. It's very easy to use, very durable, and there's a lot of aftermarket support. In fact, um, with this particular gun, I put an aftermarket apex trigger in it. Uh, it That apex trigger kind of takes care of that sloppy trigger that Glock is known for. I really like this trigger. It works out well. I got a Holosun's uh, red dot on it. I want to change it to an RMR. And I haven't, I put RMRs on the rest of my Glocks and I have not on this one because it hasn't failed me yet. I've had a couple other Holosuns that have failed me, but uh, this one hasn't failed me yet. So I'm leaving it on. Uh, maybe when it fails, I'll, I will be replacing that with an RMR, but uh, great gun, easily concealed. You got really good magazine capacity. It is just a phenomenal gun. In fact, for those of you that are still shooting Springfield XDs, I suggest you switch to this. We put Springfield XD on our list of worst guns because boomers really like those. No offense to the boomers, uh, but they really like those guns, but they're really inferior to a lot of the other stuff that's out there. I convinced a majority of the people that had poor guns on my team to go to a Glock 19 or a Glock 45, and they have embraced it, and they've all been shooting much better. So we do see a marked improvement in shooting scores in manipulation of the weapon, we see a better manipulation of the weapon, better scores when they switch to a Glock 19 or a Glock 45. Just my two cents. The proof is in the pudding. Uh, same thing with my department. I was a range master. Our department switched from SIG 226 to Glock 22s. And when we made that switch, we had people that were shooting poorly that now shot really well. And the really good shooters shot even better. Uh, the proof is in the pudding, and it's not just my department. I've seen it in a lot of others, too. So think about making that switch. Remember, hit that subscribe button if this is the kind of content that you like. We do focus on church security, but we talk about a lot of other things, too. Hopefully you learned a little bit of something. Hash it out in the comments. I want to hear what you have to say. That's all I've got for now. Remember your ABCs. Always be caring.